Okay, so uh, starting uh, last year, I have worked with reimagining education, uh, weaving and harvesting. And we have done uh, about 30, 30 some, something interviews with teachers, philosophers, principals, artists all over the world. Uh, 25 of the interviews I have been um, deeply looking into and I have Okay. Is it, is it okay? Okay, I'll continue. Okay, and we have seen some patterns and we call them acupuncture points. So I'll say a little bit more at the end about this research. We have wrote an essay and it's going to be published on Ecoversities as well. So reimagining education journey with 11 acupuncture points. The process for today is we are going to create our own 4D or inner map to guide us this year, these years, through our own reimagining education processes. Uh, and hopefully this map will stay close to you and will co-create with you. And it will be both shaping your work and you are going to shape the map as well. So let's get started. I'm going to say a few words before we start. Um, during the practice, this workshop, we create a space for each one to bring an inquiry about education, uh, about reimagining education. As with the hero's journey, we go through different passages and we call them acupuncture points, coming closer to what we might describe as a possible destination. We find ourselves deeper with deeper and meaningful questions. With that image of a so-called destination, we sense and create bridges between disconnected worlds. And we hopefully bring that into our everyday work, practice and life. This will allow us individually and collectively to work on our capacity to communicate and nourish these worlds, the indigenous, the academia, the humor and more than human. We learn to translate between these worlds and this will be a human capacity in which we are going to invest in the next years. As we do our journey, we restore the human connection to the place where we are, place-based learning. And here go some of the words of one of my favorite author and teachers from the book called From Mindfulness to Heartfulness. As change could happen, through the almost invisible work of developing the capacity to hold, contain as many people to see things in different ways. Stephen Murphy, Shigematsu. Okay, so about the work I did, the essay I was trying to, this poster that you're seeing is uh, done by one of my, my daughters and she's, 12 years old and the other one was trying to do um, animation for me a wayfinding animation to show you during the workshop and I said do you want me to read you the article and she said no please don't just the key words so I stretch my brain and try to have five key words for her here are the key words before we start this process okay um, so imagine this the first point the first level of our journey today in creating our own map of reimagining education. The hero's journey. These heroes, they leave the place where they are from, their culture, their jobs, the so-called known. They travel to unexpected new cultures, new contexts, and there is a process of cross-pollination they take on some ideas from ancestors, from indigenous knowledge or science. It can be related to land, to social midwifery, etc. And prototype and iterate and prototype and iterate. Then they let go completely. They let go completely of expectations. And they presence and release and relax 
into the present moment. And finally, once they found the true action, they come back with a seedling and nurture back the place they left. This is what we have observed as a self journey in the reimagining education with the 11 acupuncture points. And this is what we are going to practice today in creating our map. Last but not least, words from Arwana Hayashi, one of my favorite teachers. When we break limiting beliefs and habits, new worlds appears. So I do believe that today with our maps, we are going to see new worlds appear, but more. This map will co-create, will shape and reshape in the next year with our work. Okay, so this is what is going to uh, happen. This is how we are going to create our map. You can take a paper, any paper, it can be white, it doesn't have to be red. And you can pay, you can uh, do it this way. You might be a co-creator with words. So I'm going to put some questions. There are going to be 10 questions. You are going to have about two, three minutes to create, to stay with the question. And these 10 questions will take us from level one to level four, deepness. It's like the ocean. First I go, I feel the water, then I go dive completely in. That's the fourth level. Each level is going, to, is going to be guiding for us with two, three questions, 10 in total. Again, you can have a piece of paper or a journal with you, some nice crayons or pencils you like, some colors. This is one way you do it. The other way, if you are a creator with uh, words, you can actually use words. So creating, allowing some poems to come out, some words, writing just, okay? So these are two ways, drawing. This is really nice way of creating the map by drawing. And then you need to bring some pencils with you, ideally. If not, you are going to use a pen, but then you are going to use different texture of, with your pen. No worries, it works. Or a third way is you can take little objects you have on the office, on the table where you are, and you can place them, a 4D map. You can place them and arrange them, okay? So you can work with this and create a little installation. Anything can go, like absolutely the watch, anything that you have around and inspires you, and you're going to create um, an installation with objects you have around. Last but not least, if any of you are co-creating life with your body, dancing, embodiment, you can allow each level to be a movement of the body. Awesome. And you can keep the movement for the level, for the question. Remember your move. And then as we pass from one level, one question to the next one, Allow your body to move and try to remember. There is some sounds. Okay, thank you. And try to remember if you use your body, try to remember the movement, how you change from level one, question one, two, to level two, question three, four, and so on. Okay, so try to remember the movements of the body that you made. Okay, so again, if you use the paper, that's fine. Bring the pencils and the crayons. Journaling, it also goes, objects and so on. In the end, when we finish, we are going to have a 4D map with our body, with our writing or with the paper. But just before we start, and for each question, please don't worry. I can put it in the chat. At the end, I can give you all the questions if you want them, absolutely no problem. And we are going to have two, Three minutes, three minutes for each question. So you have plenty of time to allow the question to stay with you, okay? But before that, let's take a moment and completely be here, okay? I'm going maybe to stop after that, the sharing. So let me stop the sharing, okay? So just be here in this space. It has been a wonderful program till now, absolutely amazing. And let's lend a little bit in this moment. You don't have to close the eyes if you don't want. 
just feeling your backbone, how you can stay on the chair or where you are. Maybe you would like also to put your hands near your feet like this and take a little bit of warrior posture, a little bit of opening the heart of confidence. And as you breathe, feel the back of your body. We most of the time spend our lives paying attention to the front of our body, but we are 360 degrees present here. So for now, pay attention to your back, to the back of your body. Imagine your room. Try to remember what's in the back. Try to see with your mind what is in the back of your body, objects. And then now move your awareness to the room. Feel like you're expanding. So your awareness is expanding from the back of the body to the whole room. From left to right, if you would be in front of a large conference or the stage of a theater, you see it from the left to right, you feel the room with your presence. And right now, move or expand your person, expand your awareness besides the wall of your room. I don't know, go to the next building, go to the next flat, to the forest, just expand it to the left and to the right, outside the parameters of your apartment or house or where you are. And just let, let your awareness, your, your personnel, your person expand and go. And we have a challenge here, nice one. Allow your awareness to just float till it stops. It might be a forest, a couple of kilometers from here. It might be the ocean. It might be another continent. It might be the river just at the end of my farm. It can be anywhere. And there where you land and you expanded, sit there for a moment. If you would like, take one or two objects around you. Take one, two objects from that place and bring them back here in the room in front of the screen where we will start creating our inner map for reimagining education. So when you are ready, please come back to the screen, jiggle a little bit. Now it's time to let our thoughts and the chattering a little bit to wait on the margins and allow to create our map. Here it goes. I'm going to start with the questions. This is, will be a practice, and in the end, we will create a map. I will create with you as well. Okay, and there will be four levels. As I mentioned, the first level is seeing the element. So in a map, we bring the elements together. Okay, again, you can use objects or pencils. You will use color, different colors, as well as textures. And you can create texture with a, finger, with a single color, no problem. So first level, seeing the elements of the map. The first question, what are key elements in your mind, in your heart, from the present process, the work you are journaling, developing right now? So what are key elements in your mind, or in your heart for the work that you are developing right now. So just allow the pencil or the objects to come, just allow the creation to happen. Don't 
don't guide it with the mind. Just allow to, okay? And I'm going to allow silence for two minutes. What are the key elements present in the process or in your work that you are developing right now? Okay, so one more minute about the elements, key elements in your mind and heart from the present process, work you are journaling and developing right now. And now we move to the second question of this level, seeing the elements. What are other elements that you would like to be in the pictures, in the picture, or in your drawing, in your map, the surprising element, the unexpected, something you are not noticing till now, just popped. For me, it would be the Macbee that just arrived in my yard. And my husband just mentioning something about Macbees a half an hour ago, okay? Surprising elements that you would like to be in the picture the surprising, the unexpected. Please add them there. I see the second question. What are other elements that you would like to be in the picture? The surprising, the unexpected. Okay, we are moving to level two again. You can use the words, the drawing, the objects. Level two question, the level two are the boundaries of a map, both what it's inside your map and outside. You can use lines, frames, or connecting elements. Okay, so third question, first one from this level boundaries. Are there boundaries you might need to describe time limits, budgeting, 
any of these that are important in your picture. So are there boundaries you might need to describe? Limits, timing, budgeting that are important to be in your map. Okay, we'll take two minutes. Andrea, can I ask a quick question? Yes. In this first section on key elements, are you thinking key elements as being abstract things like a magpie or trees or more specific things like relational sense making or expanding understanding? It can be anything. It can be anything that comes without not your mind fixating, but rather what it comes to you, allowing to come to you, but it can be absolutely anything. Great, thank you. Thank you. So absolutely anything, it's fine and welcome. We are inviting and not calling with the mind. So the third question from level two, boundaries. Are there boundaries you might find needed to describe limits time that are important to be on your map? Okay, now the second question, the fourth in the total, but from level two, from boundaries. Are there boundaries that are fixed, hard, or flexible, unfrozen? What boundaries might be able to adjust? And you can use some visual indicator for the ones that are fixed, or the ones can float, unfreeze. You might like to do some X, some lines that are interrupted. Okay. So are these boundaries fixed, hard, or flexible and froze? And you can adjust them with the quality of the texture of these boundaries. For anyone that has joined, just let yourself be guided by the question. We are creating a map, an inner map for reimagining education, a 4D map, and absolutely anything can be used. The objects from your office, from your desk, um, pencils, crayons, different colors, including journaling, the words, drawings, Okay, so now we are second level boundaries. And I'm going to move to the other question. The last one from boundaries. Level one for the ones that just joined was seeing the elements, what elements are in our maps, allowing them to be there. And then the unexpected elements, adding them as well. Okay. Turning back, level two boundaries, the last question, how do you co-create with a place, with a stop on your map, with a challenge of somehow? How do you co-create with a place, a stop, or a challenge of somehow from your map? This in the spirit of reciprocity that we have heard before in the opening of mutuality, okay? You are stopping there. You are solving a challenge and the challenge is solving you, okay? How do you co-create with a place? Continue drawing, maybe you would like to create another stop or go back to something you put on your map. How do you co-create with a stop?
How do you co-create with a stop? Mutuality and reciprocity, co-creating with your challenge, with your stop. Okay, we'll take another minute. How do you co-create with a place, a stop or a challenge of somehow in the spirit of mutuality and reciprocity? You stop, you create a place and the place creates you. And I invite you to come to the third level, the level of relationships on your map. Again, anything can be used. Crayons, objects, journaling. So third level of your map, relationships, connections. Use lines or colors to show proximity, okay? Or you can move the objects that you already use to create your map or your journaling. So relationships. First question, six one on our list. What are the connections between parts that might be integrated? So looking at your map now, what are the connections between parts that might be integrated? You can draw some connections. What are connections between parts that might not, might be integrated? You can draw some lines or anything that goes for you. The invitation here is to set aside the thoughts the expected and allow the unexpected to come to you. In your words, drawing, 4D mapping with objects, movements. So now we are at connecting different parts that might be integrated on our map. And the next almost question. Okay, next question, the seventh question. Are there disconnected parts? Are there disconnected parts? What might be included or excluded? Are there disconnected parts? What might be included or excluded?
so disconnected parts, what might be included or excluded. Okay, so the last question from level three, relationships and connections on the map. One of my favorite questions, you in the map. If you are not in the map till now, add yourself. Now is the opportunity. So if you are not in the map, add yourself. Now is the opportunity. Okay, so adding yourself in the map. If you're not till now in the map, add yourself. Now is the moment. Okay, and we move to fourth level, last level. Level number four, essence. What is that we find, the spirit of the entire map, the tone and the quality of the feeling, so the spirit of the map. Level four, the spirit of the map. Ninth question, what spirit, what dream wants to be honored, manifested and included here in this map? What spirit, what dream wants to be honored, manifested and included here in this map? What spirit, what dream wants to be honored, manifested and included here in the map? Okay. Okay, and the 10th question, the last question, what can you take back from looking around your process, your map, from where you are right now? What can you take back? One, two, three objects, emotions, smells, anything. What can you take back with you? These might be your magical objects, your compass, your wayfinding elements. 
what could be, what can you take back from where you are not right now? One, two, three objects, smells, emotions from your map. Okay, so taking back as we look where we are right now on the map, one to three objects, emotions or smells. And take the last few seconds to wrap up your map, your 4D map or inner map of reimagining education. And now we come together. Okay, we are back. And uh, in just um, one minute or so, Dan will open up rooms, breakout rooms for us. We will be in three in those breakout rooms. This is my invitation what we do in those breakout rooms. We will stay 20 minutes in the breakout rooms for each person will be about five minutes to share and receive feedback, feed forward. And at the end, five minutes for collective dialogue. What elements, commonalities, common threads do you see? What do you wanna take from that space in three? Okay, this is how it goes in the breakout rooms. First of all, I will invite you to look at your map, how you did it with objects, with body, with drawing. Look at your map and give it a title. Give it a title. Then you might like to add a feeling around it and one to actions that you feel empowered to do. It doesn't have to be big actions, but very little actions, very simple, very close to you actions. So give your map a title, a feeling around it, a feeling around it and one, two actions that come to you and maybe you can find a bumper sticker, okay? So if I'm speaking in my group, I will say a title, an emotion, one, two actions. And if I find a bumper sticker, if I forget the other ones could remember, remind me, okay? And I'm sharing. After I share, share, the other two will give me feedback in the voice of I in the voice of I, if this would be my map, okay? If this would be my destination. And you can offer only with the voice of I, not, uh, not advices, but with the voice of I, if this would be my map, I can offer an image. This is what comes to my mind, a flower, butterfly sitting, just collecting some pollen, some smells, some colors. While you were talking, this image came to me. This is how we can offer. Or while you were talking, this song, this poem came to me, to my mind. Or this image, or I can have a gesture while you were presenting your map. This gesture arrived to me and you can create a gesture as a feedback, okay? So don't forget, use the I voice. Don't, um, don't give advices. It's much more creative for both, for everyone, okay? So offer feedback in the voice of I, image, gesture, poems, short phrases. And then the next one goes. And so all three of you, okay? So then we are back for, uh, for concluding as a group and see what we have in common as a group from our inner maps or 4D maps of reimagining education. Dan, would you like to open the rooms for us? Sure. Can you just remind me of how much time you want the breakout? 20 room? minutes, 20 minutes. Okay, thank you. I'll see you soon, everyone.
le, Linnea and Kim, I don't know if you can hear me. Um, Welcome back, friends. Hey, so we are back. Uh, everyone, anyone would like to share anything from? Uh, we are at the the conclusion period, the generative dialogue, if you want to say. Uh, if any of you would like to share, uh, maybe one person in each room. How was the process for you? Any commonalities, synchronicities, amazements, anything that you feel like sharing? One, two words from your room. Now they're welcome. I could, uh, I could just say that in the room where I was, uh, it was amazing um, because uh, well, the last map we saw, it was like a mirroring or bringing together the body and the movement of the first map with the rocks and how the second map was uh, expressed. And this was amazing. But please, anyone would like to share anything else from your room, from your process together? Okay, so if we don't have anything else, thank you. For, okay, so good. We have on the chat thankings and uh, boundings that had happened in the breakout rooms. I am going to uh, put in the chat after you you send your uh, your regards to your uh, members from the groups with whom you have shared the reimagining map, I'm going to put in the chat um, two links where you are going to find the first one, you are going to find the article, the essay about the reimagining education, 11 acupuncture points, the weaving and the patterns that we have observed in over 25 interviews with teachers, educators, philosophers, artists, uh, principals, all over the world that Ecoversities have gathered after the conference last year. And as I said, we have seen the patterns of something we call 11 acupuncture points, based on which we have designed the practice today. And also uh, on Ecoversities, the essay will be published and we can send to everyone. Um, okay, I'll put it here. Uh, you can We can send to everyone um, the article once is published on Ecoversities as well. Some of the 11 acupuncture points are already mentioned on the weaving page of Reimagining Education 2021. Where did it take me personally with this uh, work? It took me to students. 
um, starting this year, uh, January, I started uh, doing a series of podcasts and work with students and the, not students, young people um, all over the world with six questions, the same questions from future. And this time we call it reimagined education. So now we are looking at the process from the destination perspective and we hold uh, young ones to have this destination somewhere in uh, in their future foresight in their future thinking so we ideate with uh, young people all over the world in different forms schools and schools doesn't really matter in different cultures same six questions and we reimagined education with them and we'll see where it takes us from that point we already did a couple of the podcast with uh, students from Democratic Led School in Estonia, uh, in Galapagos, in uh, Lithuania, Italy, Romania, and uh, some are to come. Okay, so this is it, everyone. It was a pleasure to have you in the last hour here doing a 4D map or inner map of reimagining education. And I'm looking really forward seeing your creative power and your work throughout the conference in the next days. Thank you so much.